And feminists are up in arms calling a men's conference a hate group, even though it included all the races and sexes. So who are the ones being intolerant? we got a fair and balanced debate coming up betwixt those two next. Thanks, Clayton. Well, there's more backlash over a men's rights conference in Detroit. Some feminists even comparing the gathering to hosting a hate group. So does the intolerance show there's really a feminist war on men? Joining us now for debate, former Miss America, Kirsten Hagland and Democratic strategist Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So who's the victim? Yeah, that's the question. It's like it's increasingly as though every group wants to be like the protected class and I'm the victim and it's my rights that are being stepped upon. Um, and I think when that happens, kind of you create an overreaction potentially in the other group. And I think that's what you've seen is that as the feminist movement has gained strength and gained certain things, men have said, well, hey, what about us? And so there are valid concerns that they, you know, raise at this conference. However, some of the language they use is some of the same that they accuse feminism of using that's belittling or vitriolic. This so. is a voice for men. Uh, the online hub for men's rights activists. Do you think it's hate speech, Serlina? Well, I don't think it's hate speech. The Southern Property Law Center has classified that group and men's rights groups as hate groups. And right. so I think that it's important not to scapegoat feminism and say that feminism is to blame for many of the, the legitimate concerns that a voice for men and other MRA groups raise, like child custody and the court system being unfair to men. But I think largely they're scapegoating feminism instead of looking at the real core of the problem, which is that traditional gender roles have made it so that men are more actively engaged in child rearing and the court system needs to catch up to that reality. Some would argue, though, and they have here on the program, uh, that feminism, it, feminism is actually the cause of men having less right in the courtroom um, as it pertains to violence against, against them. What do you believe there? Well, I think that what you want to see is you want to see the rights of a group. You want to see a group empowered, but not at the expense of another group. And so I think, uh, going back to kind of an overcorrection, and we need to have more men that are speaking, you know, having an intellectual debate about this, are speaking with respect for women um, to say, hey, here's some of the things that we want to bring to the table. Um, um, to really move a group's rights forward, you have to build coalitions. You have to work with people. You know, men and women are different, but they offer both great things. So you have to respect both of what they offer and say, how can we make this work together, not by alienating the other side, I think. Do feminists want to hear what this men's group actually has to say? I think it's important to listen to the, the opposing voices. What I don't think we need to tolerate is hate speech. And so, for example, the founder of A Voice for Men has said women are begging to be raped if they go out and start and drink and flirt, then, you know, they're asking for it. That I have a problem with. I do think that, like I said before, legitimate concerns with child custody and child support, those are valid, but scapegoating feminism and saying that it's about hating men when really it's about uplifting everyone um, is, is the wrong approach. Just want to jump in there. Paul Elam has since updated his post. With he that said it was quote. satire. He did. He that, said it was know, satire not so. to be, quote, taken seriously. That was his I take that very seriously. There, yeah. sure. I can so. understand why. I want to thank you both for being here with me today. Thank you. Great debate. Caught on camera, a police officer wrestling this woman to the ground. Check this out. And slapping on the handcuffs all over, jaywalking. Yeah. 